This is the Tui Chub. Despite its name, it's not a particularly fat fish. But it does eat a lot of insects and zooplankton from the lakes and rivers where they're native in the West, including the Columbia, the Snake, Lake Tahoe, and the Klamath River. But elsewhere, the Tui Chub is invasive and throws ecosystems out of balance. They're persona non grata. Okay, okay, pescana non grata. Well, you get it, they aren't welcome. And this has been the case in Oregon's Diamond Lake for more than 60 years. Back in the 1950s, Oregon wanted to make the lake a premier fishing spot for stocked rainbow trout. But to improve water quality and ensure there was enough food, the state decided the non-native Tui Chub already living there had to go. So wildlife officials drained down the water and dumped 100 tons of a poison called rotenone into the lake. It was curtains for the chub, 32 million of them, and most everything else in the lake. And Diamond Lake became one gem of a fishing spot. Sorry. But in 1992, much to everyone's shock, Tui Chub were found in the lake once again. But how could that have happened? Nope. Uh, not likely. It probably went something like this. Using live bait in Diamond Lake is illegal, by the way. As the chub multiplied over the next decade, the water became cloudy and the trout numbers dipped. So, the state poisoned the lake again in 2006. And this time killed 90 million chub. Fishermen flocked back to Diamond Lake. But the story doesn't end there. In 2015, another chub was found in the lake. Yep, one single chub. But can there just be one? Or is this the beginning of another invasion? And what weapons will be used next in the Great War on Chubs? <laughs>